Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the mean of a probability distribution. And notice that I wrote on the board that it is not the same as finding the mean of a set of values. For example, if we have four values, the value for x, that could be 1, 2, 3, or 4, and we take the mean of the average of those values, well then we simply get 2.5. So notice that if we take the average value of what our variable can be, 1, 2, 3, or 4, that the average value or the mean of those values is 2.5. Well, that's not the result we're going to get when we take the mean of the probability distribution. Hmm, that seems odd, doesn't it? Notice, here are the possible values for x, and the average of those values is 2.5. Why should we get 2.5 when we calculate the mean of the probability distribution. Well, first, let's go ahead and calculate the mean. We'll get a different value, and then we'll try to figure out why it's different. So let's put a box around this. Notice we use the variable mu, the Greek letter mu, to indicate that this is the mean of a probability distribution. Otherwise, we would use an x with a bar on top to say this is the average or mean value of all the possible values for x. Notice we take all the various values for x and we multiply it by the individual probability that x can take on that value. Then we sum them all up. So let's go ahead and do that. So mu is equal to, well, x can be equal to 1, and the probability of x equal, being equal to 1 is 0 0.1. We add that to x being equal to 2, and the probability that x can be 2 is 0 0.2, plus the probability that, uh, no, that x equals 3 times the probability that x equals 3 plus the value for x equals 4 times the probability that x equals 4, which is 0 0.4. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.9 plus 1.6. So when we add all that together, we get 3. So here we are. That is not the same as 2.5, the average values of the possible values for x, or the mean for all the possible values for x. The reason why it's different is because it is indeed what we call the mean of the probability distribution. There's a much greater likelihood that x will be 3 or 4 versus 1 or 2. So they're more heavily weighted. Think of the probability the number associated with the probability of obtaining that value for x is kind of a weighting factor. So there's four times as much possibility that x will be 4 than when x equals 1, which means that that number, the number we're trying to find, which is the mean of the probability distribution right here, that that number will be skewed to the value for x where there's a higher probability. Now, if the probabilities were reversed, if it was 0.4 for x equals 1 and 0.3 for x, x equals 2 and so forth, you would see that, that the mean of the probability distribution would be a smaller number, and again, it would be smaller than the average values for x, because then the probability that x would be a smaller number is greater than the probability that x will be a larger number. So that means that the value you end up with, the mean of the probability distribution, is skewed based upon the probability for each indiv individual value for x. Essentially, it's kind of a weighting factor, and so you can see that the mean not only gives you the average value for x, but also it is skewed or there's a weighting factor associated with the probability of what each of those values can be. And that's what we mean by the mean of a probability distribution. It is not finding the average value for x.